Welcome back. Next, I just want to show you how the same thing works with multiple route params. So let's say I have a meal component and a meal is going to have a food and a drink and both of them are parameters in a route. So a route would look something like slash food slash some food name. So we'll call it, uh, let's go with food name instead of name slash drink slash drink name. So we do want to be descriptive, and if we just call these name, it's going to be problematic using the data because they'll both be stored under name, so we're not going to have access to both of them. So you want to be more explicit. Often you'll be using IDs instead of names, so you'll have like food ID. But we'll use names because we don't have IDs. Okay, and if I want to define a route with that path, route just like that, and then we can begin by just passing Mm, let's do component equals and then import meal, which I've already done. And meal right now isn't using any of those props. It just says this is a meal. If I go back to my app and visit slash food slash mushroom slash drink slash sure wine, we get this is a meal. So whatever this is at the end and whatever the food is it doesn't matter currently. We're still matching that pattern slash food, that has to be there, slash something else, doesn't matter, slash drink, that has to be there, and then drink name can be anything. Now this is where exact matters, because if I leave exact off of my first route, food slash name, you'll see what happens when I visit my meal route, I'm getting the food and the meal component. And that's because whatever URL I'm passing in, slash food, slash chicken, slash drink, slash soda, it starts with slash food slash something, and that matches this pattern. So we wanna say exact, meaning it has to be just this, not starting with this, not with this at the beginning and then something else after, just food slash name, and this one will be just food slash name slash drink slash drink name. Okay, and then if we wanna use the props, at the end of the last video, I talked about how we can use component and we don't have to manually pass those props in. So inside of my meal.js, I now have access to this.props.match.params. And then let's do food name to start. And we should see whatever that food name is. Let's do food slash potato and then slash drink slash wine again. And if I look at my props in the React Dev Tools, we'll see that we now have multiple params inside of our param prop right here. So match params has drink name and food name. So we can use both of them. So if I wanted to grab the food name, it's so this.props.match.params.foodname. The drink name is this.props.match.params.drinkname. Whatever I put them in inside of the route definition, whatever the colon is in front of. And then if I wanted to make this work with the two images, I would have a food URL and then a drink URL. And then the first one would use food name. The second one uses drink name. And then I'll say this is a meal of food name plus drink name and then add the two images below. We won't worry about styling and we'll just set source to be food URL on the first one. And then the second one will be drink URL. And now we should see this is a meal of potato plus wine. And we get our two images, they're kind of massive. Uh, I don't have any styling on this component, but that's really not the point. So now I can go to slash food slash potato and I get the food component. But if I go to food slash potato slash drink slash how about whiskey? And there we go, potato and whiskey. And that is coming directly from the meal component which is being rendered from this route. And I'll keep this one as component versus render. Uh, if you didn't watch the end of the last video, it's important to understand the distinction and why I have to pass the props in here manually, and here I don't. All right, so that's it for this video, multiple route params. You could add as many as you'd like, but a good rule of thumb is to try and limit this as much as possible. I try not to have more than two route params because often you can shorten things uh, and there's other ways of structuring your application if you end up with a lot of params. 
because you usually don't need all of that information. You could just get away with a single ID or two IDs and then figure out the rest using those IDs, but it really varies from app to app. Okay, so that is the basics of route params. Now we're moving on to some other features of React Router.